So, in Battlefield 2042, there isn't really that much recoil, but considering there are quite a few new players, and I have had quite a few people ask me how do I get the recoil control, I thought I would make today's video. But before we get into that, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you want more Battlefield content. But you're probably here because you want to know how to get better recoil control on 2042 and maybe even other Battlefield games. Now the first thing to do would be to go into your settings. So the first setting that you want to change is you need to go down here into options and display. Then in video you'll see the setting ADS field of view. You need to set this to on. This basically means that your FOV stays the same when you're ADS. Now while of course having the setting set as on won't actually really affect your recoil, it will mostly affect visual recoil, which in turn will make it a lot easier to fire your gun and stay in target, it would also make your sensitivity a lot more crisp. Now for an example of what it looks like with it on, here it is. And for the example with it off, They are, I would say, basically are relatively the same. You just get less screen shake, and with the bullets flying in, you also really can't see much on the right hand side of your screen, especially when strafing. It can, it's just a lot more visual clutter, which makes it a lot harder to control your recoil in the end. Now for a setting that I would proceed with some caution, but can help you quite a bit. This is mainly a controller thing, although it does apply to mouse and keyboard as well. It is called Vertical Aim Ratio. Now, I currently play with this on 100%, so this basically means that my vertical sensitivity, or my up and down sensitivity, is exactly the same as my left and right, or horizontal. Now, if you're used to playing with, this is something where I would want you to probably get it to 100, though if you have this on the default, which I believe is 48, it'll take you a long, long time to get used to. Now, a recommendation that I would personally put this on, and something that I did for quite some time, is set this setting to the same as your ADS sensitivity. So, for example, my ADS sensitivity is on 80. So, if yours was on 80 as well, this is where you'd go and set this to 80%. Now, this also doesn't, this doesn't always work, but, is something I would try maybe in the aim trainer and just have a little play around as it can help your recoil control vastly. Now onto it is another setting that can also kind of help your recoils in a small amount and that is dead zones. You've probably heard this in many settings videos but a smaller input needed to move the stick can help drastically when trying to control recoil. So I currently have this on three. I tend to recommend going as low as possible before you get stick drift though this is something you will need to play around with in the aim trainer once again but something I'd recommend is 5, it's a general good number and you shouldn't really get stick drift unless your controller is 5 years old. Now another technique or tip into helping you with recoil control are the attachments. Now the best ones for that is the Warhawk Compensator which helps with a vertical and horizontal recoil control but does make your weapon a little less accurate. Now if you're struggling with a vertical recoil, you want to run something like the Champion Muzzle Brake. And if you're struggling with horizontal recoil, then you want to run the Arcom Tactical Muzzle Brake. And I would generally have these on most of your guns, just in case you are struggling with recoil at a certain time. Another thing that is also in the attachments is the STNR Laser Sight. This also helps with recoil control. And if you ever want to run a laser sight, this is the one I would recommend as it gives you hipfire accuracy bonus and a recoil control bonus as well. Now the last tip that I can give you is just basically just see what the recoil is on a gun. So for example on the M5A3 it is basically vertical and a little bit up to the right. So what you need to do is slightly pull down. Don't over pull down otherwise you will end up doing this and then doing that and your aim will be all over the place. You just want to slightly pull down and a little bit to the left and then you have recoil that when you shoot an enemy is generally most of the bullets are going to hit especially in 2042 with no spread then once you've gotten used to all the attachments your settings or even if you're still playing around with your settings the last thing to do would be to just practice on the bots they have their normal health of actual people and you can just constantly just fire at them and they'll never shoot back and it's a perfect training environment for you to just improve your aim and also your recoil control at the same time then something I thought about post editing this video and that is burst firing. So instead of going like this, 
you want to go something more like this. And then it's more for like mid to really long range engagements and then if it's extremely long range like a sniper you can change the fire rate by pressing down on the d-pad or v on the keyboard then you have your gun in single shot so you can just tap fire it like this and it also kind of turns into like a dmr you can also do this while it's in full auto as well which is a little bit more useful and then you end up going into like a really fast burst but though you do need a good trigger finger for that so hopefully these tips and tricks to help you with your recoil control on Battlefield 2042. Even though there isn't that much, you can use this in previous titles like Battlefield 5, Battlefield 4, maybe Battlefield 1, though the gun play is a little bit different in that game. But if you have any fellow tips for people watching this video, make sure to put them in the comments. But if you need any other help, maybe the videos on screen will be able to guide you. Otherwise, I'll catch you later.